Welcome to my instructional video of an arthroscopic subacromial decompression of the shoulder. A subacromial decompression is done to remove a large bone spur present on the undersurface of the acromion, a portion of the shoulder blade. This is done in order to eliminate pain in the shoulder from bursitis and or tendonitis of the rotator cuff. Here we can clearly see a large amount of bursal tissue that is present and is on top of the rotator cuff, which is the large white fibrous tissue on the lower half of the screen. Once the shaver has completely removed all of the bursal tissue and adequate visualization has been obtained, the spur can be identified and a wand which is able to vaporize tissue is used to fully expose the bone spur. The anterior or front half of the spur is completely exposed so that I can see the deltoid muscle in the front of the shoulder. I will then remove the tissue from the lateral or outside of the acromion, which is where most of the impingement or pressure of the bone spur on the rotator cuff occurs. Once this is completed, a 4 mm burr is used to remove the bone spur in a coordinated fashion. Since most of the pressure on the rotator cuff occurs laterally, I start the decompression on the outside and work my way towards the middle. It is important to remove a sufficient amount of bone from the front and side of the acromion and ensure that there are no rough edges on the undersurface which could potentially cause pain. Here we can clearly see that the bone spur has been completely removed. The decompression is then evaluated to assure that there is no residual pressure on the rotator cuff. The rotator cuff was examined at the start of the operation and showed no evidence of a tear. The subacromial space will be thoroughly washed out, any bleeding will be stopped, and stitches will be placed in the wound. The patient will then be placed in a sling and can begin moving their shoulder without limitations as soon as pain will allow.